All right, so let's go ahead and install an access point. Hey guys, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on the channel to focus on tips, training strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And I think... I'm missing a cable. Hold on. <laughs> so pretty much in the last couple of videos, I've been doing a lot of work at churches. And I'm going back to this one church to <clears throat> hang an access point to expand the Wi-Fi into the sanctuary for a new presentation PC that I built and installed there recently. But the Wi-Fi, because the building is all concrete, the Wi-Fi is not reaching where the PC is so pretty much got them a access point to reach over there and I'm looking for a premium cable I had I thought I packed it up I mean I can make another cable on the spot but Try not to have to make one if I don't need to. Oh, here it is. Oh. Yay. So, I'm trying to get that installed, and I got to meet the pastor over here by 8 o'clock. And then I'm going to be probably running around throughout the day visiting some clients. I got to do an updated digital display for one of my clients for um, digital signage. And I probably need to go look and get a... Um, mount for my camera so when I'm driving I don't have to keep holding this while I'm driving and I'm probably gonna surprise my daughter visit her at daycare today uh, I always like to pop in randomly to see even after we drop her off and then just come back and be like daddy you just saw me of course baby I love you so anyway let's uh, head on out all right so I guess I saw somewhere posted that um, I don't know if it's an event or it's in a challenge or something like that. They called it Vlogist. So I took it that that's pretty much just vlogging every single day for the month of August. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Um, hopefully this isn't going to be super boring, but I guess my vlog is more of the mindset of a uh, volunteer in media ministry and what I do on a daily basis pretty much I run a company so I don't really work a nine to five job so I do a lot of projects for clients and stuff like that for my church so might as well um, show you what I do on a daily basis for a whole month just to see what's going on so what's going on um, starting in August well I have a smartphone class um, that I'm going to be holding for the community, mainly for my church, but for the community. And it's for the older saints. They, We have a um, Elders of Grace ministry that asked me to come in. and Because a lot of them ask for technical questions and stuff like that. And um, I helped them with that randomly. I upgraded a couple of their computers, fixed some computers, cleaned viruses... Um, set up TVs, fix tablets, a whole bunch of technical stuff. So I just decided, hey, um, if we're going to do stuff like this, how about for a whopping $1 <laughs> per person, I'm going to have a four-hour session of Q&A questions on their smartphone, tablet, technology in general. And I was going to have some other kids that have computer science degrees to come in, but right now it's just me. And the reason I'm doing this is because I was only given about like 30 minutes, 40 minutes during one of their monthly meetings. 
and literally everybody was like oh my gosh we need more time we need more time so that's the reason why i set this up and it's just a way of doing something different at the church instead of it just being oh a ministry this meeting here a bake sale here a car wash here sunday school here wednesday night here it's just doing something different because it's a need that everybody has and why not just have a class and try and teach this stuff i used to um work with mark warner before he was a governor and he had a program called tech riders where we went to different churches throughout the state of virginia and just taught basic computer courses for i think a week so um not that I'm piggybacking off of that, but that's where kind of like the similar idea of wanting to help the community. Also, what else is going on in August? Well, we're trying to, I've been going to other churches and speaking with their pastors and we're working in setting up a volunteer conference to do some training for our media ministries here in the area. That's what's going on. And yay, on August 30th, um, a book that I was writing called Modern Media Ministry Made Easy is officially coming out. I am self-publishing that book through Amazon. And there is a link in the description if you're interested about it. I actually have about five different pastors um, do a foreword after they've read it on from different generations just to see what their thoughts are on the book because it's just one of those things um, felt led to kind of write about that stuff to I mean, I've been in church my whole life, so it's a lot of times I know all the ups and downs, all the cliches, all the statements of people who fight him and haw change, and that's what the book is really about. Yes, it gives technical step by steps how to do certain things, how to get started with a podcast, how to get started with um, YouTube and live streaming and computers and stuff like that. That's the technical, that's part two, but part one. It's really talking about the mindset and breaking it down from a scriptural standpoint that technology is not from the devil and not he's not trying to destroy everything. Technology, every good and perfect gift comes from God. And um, what the devil intended for bad, God intended for good. Everything is made for a purpose, but we get so stuck on tradition that we completely miss the blessings and the benefits of everything that is going on around us so that's mainly what the book is about just to show that there are good things out there and how we can use technology like um i think i did it on my church post-production that we had some visitors from china visit our church now i'm not correlating this together but it just brought to my remembrance when my church really had a problem a few people had a problem with live streaming that the first people who watch our live stream were somebody every single week from China and Russia was watching our live stream. So it just shows we haven't we haven't sent any missionaries to China and Russia. And it just showed that how technology is allowing the media ministry to be an e-missionary and reach and go to the highways and hedges and spread the message of Jesus Christ. On, at places that no one would ever go literally at the press of a button and that's what that book is really about that it's not about having multi-millions in your ministry that literally you can do this with your phone just like I'm doing right now I, everybody has a smartphone I mean almost like 99 or 95% of everybody on the face of the planet has access to a smartphone and literally to make a YouTube channel or a Vimeo channel or whatever channel that you want, <clears throat> Instagram, Pinterest, whatever out there, you literally are on the global stage and anybody can do it. And that's what I'm really trying to help churches understand. And even if it's not the church, if there's one person that I'm talking to that's in a church that wants to do this, you have the power to do it. Don't wait for the quote unquote the church to tell you it's okay because all of us are tasked with reaching more people so whether your church jumps on board or if it's just you that's and if you feel that resonating with you that is your i me personally i ain't trying to get super spiritual with y'all but i mean mainly if that's resonating with you i really feel that's god kind of telling you and unctioning you saying hey the reason why this is resonating with you is because this is what i want you to do so 
You might not agree with that. All I know is about two and a half years ago, I was woke up around 1 a.m. and I was told to do this. And two and a half years later, really helping, I mean, I had people contact me from Bahamas, Australia, London, multiple states here, China, um, South America, all over the place, that people are hungry for this stuff. So I'm first more than thankful and I'm just glad that I decided to listen to that unction because my life is completely different in how I've been able to minister and help so many more people than not in a bad way than just me sitting at church playing on the piano. I love playing on the piano. I love doing music and that's always still going to be a part of me, but I'm just thankful that um, like the prayer of Jabez, he enlarged my territory and now I'm able to help and minister to so many more people. So that's my soapbox for the day. So let's get driving and let me put this phone down before somebody sees me hold my phone up. All right, I am back again here at New Jerusalem Baptist Church to hang this access point. Yay! All right, so I'm waiting for the pastor to get here to unlock the church. And I just got a call from a church that I visited a, earlier in July. Um, they want me to come and do a presentation on... Um, just kind of the tech that we talk about here and how we can improve their media ministry. Um, I took off for the whole month and just pretty much just visited a couple of churches um, just to get away as well as to just learn from other churches, seeing what they have and um, really enjoyed this church. Didn't think they were doing any form of um, live streaming until the pastor mentioned it at the end of her, um, well, not the pastor, but um, the person who was preaching mentioned you know was talking to the online congregation which I always think is a great thing to do that way you get them involved so while I was sitting there I looked up their stuff and I was like oh hmm. okay so pretty much introduced myself at the end of service to talk with the media ministry and honestly I really just wanted to set up a time where I'm interviewing and talking to other media ministries um, as a whole, not really selling off any ideas or anything like that. But pretty much they asked me to come back in and I brought one of our demo live streaming systems that we build here uh, the, using the Ryzen 2200G as well as the Ryzen 2400G. I think that's what my current one is right now. Um, and just because they were having issues with I guess the company installed their stuff for them and just I'm seeing this everywhere a lot of places I'm going that a lot of churches are using systems for a certain task that they were not really built for so they had a laptop which was very underpowered handling their live stream and because the computer wasn't fast enough the processor wasn't powerful enough it wasn't enough memory it was buffering like crazy the sound would go out, um, a bunch of other stuff. Also, the sound was not integrated into, the, the full church's sound was not integrated into the camera. So if you had children in the back row of the church, it was gonna pick them up before it picked up um, the message or whoever was preaching. Um, <clears throat> so I just brought the system and I hooked their system up into my camera just to let it live stream just to show what it could do and the system again wasn't even going over seven percent and i was just streaming the entire thing while we were talking and they were just impressed and just pretty much just gave them some ideas on how to work with the technology that they got and thankfully um, they called and they want me to do a presentation, I guess, for the church to show them not just the media ministry, but as the church as a whole, how just a few little tweaks and getting a system that's built for the task of live streaming and even possibly putting worship extreme in there to give them some options for presentations and stuff like that, which now I think about it, I don't remember them having a projector or anything in the sanctuary, but I'll find that out when we set up this meeting so what I'm gonna do is pack up my camera or I could possibly use theirs 
now I'm gonna pack mine up because their camera is not HD. I'm gonna pack my camera up, my portable streaming system, and two monitors. I bring a TV and my regular computer monitor so that I'm interacting with it and I'll use my phone um, tethered together to live stream. Now they actually, let me take that back, they actually have a cable going to the computer. They have wired network now. See, now I'm just rambling. They have wired net, um, wired internet in the media booth. So maybe I can make one of these custom cables here with a um, coupler on it so I can just connect to it. Something like that. I'm just, now I'm just thinking, like I said, rambling. But really thankful about um, just the opportunities and the places I've been able to interact with. So this is kind of like how it goes. Um, I'll either have somebody that finds me on social media or YouTube, contacts me, we talk via email or they'll call or something like that. And I just kind of find out where they're at and at least give them a game plan to go there, whether they go with me or they go with somebody else. Um, honestly, I prefer they go with me, but you know, sometimes I have people like in Hawaii contact me, um, California contact me. And I am more than willing to travel if you would compensate me to pay for my ticket to go there. But either way, um, I just really want to help get the churches there to where they need to be. And that's kind of what I do like on a daily basis, whether it be here on YouTube, me posting these videos of uh, something that I know that's helped our church. Or I know that like some of my subscribers or some of my followers on social media have pretty much asked me to make into a training video. So that's what I do. And I think I blabbed enough. I think Pass is pulling up here, so let me get in here and install this access point. All right, so this is gonna be a real simple install. I'm gonna hang the access point right here. Got this little leftover piece of conduit. Have this come down like this or so. Wrap that cable around this corner here. And Follow this up around the corners down here. I might punch a hole through there, don't know yet. And wrap around and go over there to the modem. Whichever one is the, I'm probably gonna go this direction so it'll be easier to go there. And that's really it. So let's get started. All right, so this is how simple it goes. It just goes on that side, and the metal plate that I did in the other video just goes on this other side that braces it. You don't want to over-tighten it. You just want it to hold in place, and you don't need a lot to hold that because that, that thing is not even a pound that's going to go on here. So, And we're going to drill a hole here so that the Cat6 cable can come through. And then we just hang it right back up there. All right, so we got the access point installed. Really simple, and how we had everything installed. No, you're fine, you're fine. And then we just ran the cable around here. White cable, we could barely see it. One down the side here, and then into the passive study where we have it connected to the POE injector. Oh, did I turn the wrong way? Oh, sorry, thing <laughs> running across the base is there, and there's the PoE injector, and to the router there. And I had Pastor actually test that the signal he was getting it on his phone, but now and the computer didn't have a signal at all. But now that we got it installed, the computer can connect to the Wi-Fi perfectly fine and then whoever else has access to it so it's really simple to install so just let y'all know that that's one thing that you can do to en enhance the internet wherever you're at whether it be for the congregation or whether it be just for your media computers whatever and it does not cost an arm and a leg to get that stuff done so let's go on to project number two for today all right so we're on to project number two for today I'm going to stop by um, a lady at my from my church who wanted me to rebuild her computer which I haven't posted that video but that's using the ASRock desk mini a300 um, pretty much this computer had a lot of viruses on it and there was really no upgrade path because the 
I don't know why HP, I believe it was HP, made this case. You can't put a power supply in it. You can't put a new motherboard in it. Um, the motherboard didn't have any new SATA connections. They had uh, the processor was soldered onto the motherboard. Really couldn't do nothing with it. So pretty much I was going to use an NVMe on the drive, but for, I mean, on the new computer, but for whatever reason, um, it just didn't take. So I took the 512 NVMe, put that in my portable live streaming system, and then took out the 512 gigabyte standard 2.5 SSD and migrated her stuff over to that. So it was a new system, new faster processor, double the memory, and a SSD compared to the mechanical drive. So literally starting that computer up now used to take well originally it used to take around seven minutes for the computer to come up because there's a whole bunch of viruses and stuff like that in it now that computer starts up it starts up in like five seconds so it's super fast so i am heading to her house now to install that computer and then we'll be on to project number three all right so we install the computer and she's really happy because the whole computer takes five seconds to boot up compared to the seven minutes it was because of all the viruses and stuff on it. So I am, she pretty much wants to donate the church, com I mean the computer she had to the church, which just reminds me I need to get the power supply from her. Uh, let me go get that and then we're heading to my church. All right, on to stop number three, which is my home church. Hold on, come on here. my home church after I stop and get something to drink here and after that I need to head back to the house and start working on the one website that I have to finish up today and then Pastor Page the church I just left New Jerusalem wants me to do a website so I need to send them the information so I can start building theirs update a digital sign for one of my clients and get ready for this presentation that I need to do at a church down the street so let's get going all right so I'm here at my church to pick up some stuff so I have a list of video announcements I need to make for this week and going out through the middle of August um, which would include our vacation Bible school and that's what I just got an email about so let me go upstairs, see if there's anything I need to get, and I'm heading back to the house to start work on a couple of websites, these video announcements, this video, <laughs> some other videos, my review videos that I haven't posted yet, as well as getting prepped for this uh, um, demonstration that I need to do, demonstration of the proposal that I'm talking to this other church. So let's head on out. All right, so I decided to stop and get some, I guess some compressed air so I can clean out <laughs> my computer just just because I just felt like it. I was actually watching an episode of Paul's Hardware or listening to an episode of Paul's Hardware while I was driving. Really like that guy's videos. Um, check him out if you're into all the tech cool stuff like that. But um, he was building um, in a newer case of the one that I have and I just brought to mind hey I need some compressed air to clean out my computer so I'm gonna stop here at CVS to get something and then behind me is sheets so I'm gonna go get me something to eat right after that all right so they don't have any um, compressed air so I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to get that from so oh well time to go get something to eat all right so I pretty much have to take out the capture card from my live streaming computer here missing from right there and I put it into my streaming system that's going to be for this demonstration I'm doing today so now I'm just setting up OBS to do the camera setup that I am proposing to demonstrate for the church this afternoon and as you can see I'm editing the actual vlog <laughs> that I'm still recording for right now which will be posted as well so that's what's going on and then after the shower up and head to the church all right so I am here at the church to set up a demo for them I'm actually live streaming it right now and just kind of they I guess they are a church where they are trying to convince the congregation that more is needed to help properly live stream 
so that's what I'm here to help them do so we're gonna be live streaming it I got a, the, my miniature system here to show them what can be done um, with HD and a more powerful computer and I'm gonna be live streaming the whole thing and let them see it so I might even post a link to it after this if I get their permission so that's what I'm doing so I'm finally shutting shutting down for the day left the church that called me to want to do a presentation and just like a lot of churches they have um i want to be it what's the nicest way of saying this just a lot of a lot of a lot of red tape um just based off how it is but um I think what we're gonna do is probably set up a time where we come and actually switch out everything for one sunday and actually just live stream with one of my systems and a camera just to let the people who watch the live stream notice the difference and I pretty much have to write up a document kind of a proposal for them that kind of caters to the audience that's going to be reading it which is fine and pretty much just the whole goal of just trying to help churches realize that um, that we're trying to help them embrace technology or utilize technology to a higher level than what they're using it for um, so that's mainly about it so this was kind of interesting to do kind of like a vlog approach for the day um, been eating up a whole lot of space on my phone so I've been offloading this and uploading it when I get a chance so um, I hope y'all like this type of content if you do would appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos like this and the Sun is in my eyes um, but I plan on trying to well, I plan on doing um, a, a vlog type video every day for the whole month of August and I'm just warming up to it I want to get my workflow down so I can still do everything that I need to do throughout the day from a business standpoint and as a dad and all that other good stuff but Anyway, um, if y'all uh, want to contact me or anything like that, hit me up if you have questions. Still want to do like an AJ Answers and a Tech Tip Thursday and all this other stuff that we normally do. Reviews and bills and all that other stuff to help modernize your media ministry. So anyway, this is AJ. We'll see you on the next video. Later.